we have to go out on a bus and talk to people. We have to sit yeah. in their kitchens and go to their houses and, and talk to them face to face and ask and answer their questions and demystify the, the crime. What country is producing the most hemp and getting the most out of the, the crop itself in China. terms of all the China? China. So China has seven different plants that do the different for textiles, right? For fiber and textiles. For seed and C B D you can have one plant. Speaking about the profit from seed, just the seed production. From yeah. the crop is like six to eight times what farmers are getting from corn right now from a profit standpoint. Per so we don't have the infrastructure to process the stock, yeah. and the fiber, the herd, and the hempcrete yet. That infrastructure is in every other G7 country except for ours, right? So, How are you going to convince that hemp should be the thing that's focused on instead of what the DuPonts and the you know, the ensconced established big business and big money. And the plastics like, industry. You know, and the plastics industry, all that. Like, where, where is it indigenous to? Like, where did it first start growing? And then you have to go... Europeans brought it over with them on the boats. So Plymouth, they brought it over in the, in the boats. Um, it was here, Indian hemp, American Indian hemp. So this was a global campaign to eradicate hemp as a product. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. went through the U.N., to get people to basically threaten yeah, countries. So they fell in line. The UN is reassessing that. April 19th and 20th of this year, they're reassessing their entire drug policy. Because people are realizing it's, it's, it's insane. It's idiotic. You wouldn't need the petrochemical industry. I mean, literally, hemp could do almost everything that petrochemical does. And from a, from a selling standpoint, people are like, that just sounds like no, I can do everything. But no, but that's really not only the global economy, but the, the, the global warming and the climate. And we're cutting down the trees. So they say one acre of hemp is equivalent to four to five acres of trees annually. Building materials, paper, pulp. You build a hemp house and it's going to take CO2 out of the air because it will suck that out. In Canada, they don't need the wood burning stove to keep the house warm. There's something like five tons of, of concrete per To make dry cement. It's horribly, horribly toxic.